Hey guys, this, <clears throat> this is Dave with Cost Certified. And in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool update that we've just done where you can have a material list now, um, which is really awesome for a lot of contractors. So you're able to track all the materials that you need to order. So I'm going to show you how that works. Um, in this particular example, we have a kitchen reno. And in the kitchen reno, we have a tile floor. But the problem is, is we just sort of lump this tile floor as one item that that's subcontracted that includes both the material. So actually the way that we originally had this is it was subcontracted and it includes both labor and material. Now I'm gonna show you the right way that I would do this um, you know, if you want to get the real value at a cost certified, I mean, you can do it this way, but how many of you would really subcontract and the subcontractor would include the tile? That's not likely. So I'm going to show you how you can actually do this properly and track your material. So you could actually create an assembly. So instead of it being an item on its own called tile, you're going to create an assembly and, and I'll show you here, this is all going to make sense of how this works to the material list. You're going to have an assembly called tile floor, let's say. And we're just going to drag it back up to where we had it up here next to the tile floor. And we're going to open it up. So we're going to drag it up there. Then we're going to open this up. And there's no items in there in this assembly. We're going to put it in. So now we got tile floor. However, this is my tile floor that is, I'm going to say, is just the material. Okay. So I'm tracking that. Now it's $3. Let's just pretend that it's for this basic tile, it's $3 a square foot. I'm going to link this to the overall kitchen because I want it to tie to the kitchen uh, dimension. And now, so now this is linked, this link, which is perfect. So the right uh, dimensions are coming up. But now I might create an item just because I separated this. I might create an item called, um, you know, tile installation here because now I've separated labor and material, right? So maybe I do subcontract the uh, labor part. So I'm going to put tile um, installation here so uh here we go so tile installation and we're gonna i'm gonna ignore this um i'm gonna ignore just the pictures the description and all of that kind of stuff and then now you can see that i i can say it doesn't include material and just my labor cost so let's say it's ten dollars a square foot to uh do the installation I can then close that and save this as tile installation. So now I'm tracking my material separately from the uh, actual labor. And by the way, you might have an item that's not subcontracted that includes both your material and labor, which is totally fine because you're still going to track your material. So in other words, if you didn't catch what I'm saying, actually, I'll just click into here. Let's say that you have an item that, um, Let's say you have an item here and let's say that it does include material and labor, but it's not subcontract. You could always click the material here and it's still gonna track your materials. In this particular example, we're, we've divided tile floor into the material and into the labor. Now let's click into the material here and look at this a little closer. So now it says materials purchased by the, now if you're doing, let's say a fence and you're purchasing maybe um, a bundle of wire, you can actually say by the bundle or the roll, sorry, by the roll, um, for instance. Uh, in this case, I don't know if it has box, you might see, by the box. So maybe this, this tile floor is purchased by the box, it's not by the square feet. So then you put with, how many square feet per box? So maybe it comes with 12. So it's going to know, and you can actually put in your waste factor as well. So let's say I have a 10% waste factor. 
So now you're, because this isn't, obviously if it's subcontracted, you don't have to keep track of any of this because your subcontractor is including the materials. I'm talking about if the material, if you have it subcontracted and it includes both labor and materials, then that um, you don't need to track this stuff. But what's really cool now is that you can then, when you go to your material list, because we have this done, you can go into your material list and it shows tile floor shows where you're getting it from the vendor, how much is required and how many boxes you need to purchase and you know what the cost is and you can check. So this becomes a really easy material list. Now all of your subcontracted items that include material, it's not gonna come up. Anything that's not subcontracted that includes material, it's gonna show up here for you to track. So hopefully you like that. That's a really, really cool feature that we've just launched. It makes it really easy for you to, to track all your materials that you need to order. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video.